Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are in July. The sun is setting and we've got some work to do before we skip into August. So I think first of all we need to tackle the mowing because I want to get a cut of grass now from our two grass fields. So is this patch here in front of the house and that and the farmyard? And was it 106? Yeah, 106. So we need to get this cut, so we'll get this cut and then convert it into hay and then we'll go into August do that one wheat field we've got at the moment because I think that's going to be ready to harvest in the next episode not next episode, next month so yeah, if we have a look here please say it's ready oh, maybe ready maybe need another month, I'm not sure, so hopefully we get a cut in that not cut, um, get the wheat done, because I would prefer that a lot, so make sure we're swapping either it doesn't really make much of a difference, because we need to tear this and windrow it in that, so and in terms with Bathing. We do need a square bather, so I'll look at some options we've got. Of course, it carries liftable bales because that will cause a game crash. In terms of what we're going to be doing, it involves the Straw Harvest DLC, or Straw Harvest Mod Pack. And yeah, by the time this has gone out, I've done a test video on the comparisons with Head Presses. So basically compare different ways of making pellets, i.e. short pellets. I know there's tons of ways to make pellets and that turns with wood chips and manure and all that, but I'm primarily looking at in terms of relations to straw and that, straw and slash or hay. And yeah, definitely lots of good results, so check that video because that yeah, some interesting results and I've included the table so feel free to look at, look at it. But yeah, in terms of with square baders and that, I do have some options, but again, it is limited, so have a look here. No, can't use those. No, can't use little bells. Unless we go something for. That's the thing, do I want to go with that? We can go with the bell shooting that. Cause how much is that going to cost us? Like, actually, no idea. I think bell shoot. That's going to cost us 16 grand to the lease. So, you know what? Screw it. I am going to set it on to automotive. Shouldn't be too much. We're releasing it, so. Or at least that. We're gonna be using the bell collect, so yeah, we do two forty seven meter square bells. But yeah, three hundred and ninety grand, that is extremely expensive. We've got the horsepower requirements, so we've got that. Next we need the so the Pramos. So we'll go ahead and lease that. Yeah, what's the day fees on these? Ooh, three grand, so... Yeah, I'm going to pay some extra fees on that, but you know what? I don't mind it, so we've got that, we've got the bell shredder in that. Obviously we need land in that, so we'll deal with that in tomorrow. And I think of, do we need anything else? Ah, bell loader, so we'll use our teander. And we'll use... I think we'll use this, so we want that, Tayander, go with a cloth and that, there we go, so yeah, that's all down the deep ship, so yeah, that is £35,500, also we we'll need new land, and I'm thinking the land by where the garden centre is, that little area up there, that is really best area for us is flat and yeah that's where we do all our other productions such as the uh, 
what it potato processes stuff, all the new vegetable crop processing plants. But they are gonna be ready very soon as well. So let's get us done and build. And then I'll see you folks after we're done. Actually maybe into August perhaps. Actually, I think, in fairness, we should keep this because for the chickens, because with chickens and animals in general, what I'm going to be doing is actually getting some more chickens in. So, actually, we could do that in this episode, put some more chickens in because I am going to be purchasing that land on top of the airplane 125 one for free where the garden centre is on top of the garden screen. Or top right of the PDA, so because yeah, that's gonna be our like new air for productions and just other things in that. Because we need spaces for the four, was it three? You know, three root crop laying in productions. Also, need for the palletizer for the uh, what's it? Palletizer for the a uh, pellet, <laughs> that's it. And yeah, I know, of course, with the pads, hyzers and that, I can just get the free moss and go around this and get it myself that way. And I'm sure there is a trailer in that we can use to put the pellets in. So, no, Droid 53 did a video recently where he used the 
basically it's all hinges on using the laser tandem where you connect the Primos up on one end and on the other end you can put up a trailer like the TARDIS XL I'm sure you can even use the Colossus Orbit Wagon that can hold 1.5 million litres of stuff so yeah I think I should maybe do a test on that at some point Look how dry fits free speed. I haven't watched it, but I want to see what he's used and see if I can go better than that with the all right setup. So then we get this top section here done, this headlands. And then we'll go and get the bean there. So we'll get the record on this, we'll get the bean done, and then we will go. Yeah, okay, everything's set up here. So, it's gone and quickly got the harvest done. And yes, yeah, skip a little time a little bit. But yeah, so 57,000 litres of wheat. So, yeah, that should be enough animal feed for us. So, let's go and hop into here. We do have a little bit of hay in, but once we start debating, that'll be fine. I'll give you about this wind rover, even though we don't tend to use it as much at the moment. That's because I've obviously been using the quick baiter, but since we're using this, we find a use for it now. So let's go and get that lowered. Baiter's turned on. But yeah, I've gone and moved some pallets around from the Apple factory and the taste, well, no skits here, sorry, that we have that's been moved up to our new area that we're going to be having. Okay, we're missing bits on side occasionally. Oh no, we're perfectly aligned now, but your yeah, first of all was like missing a few bits wasn't perfectly aligned, but that is fine now, so yeah, we're gonna do make sure we're actually doing big bells. Yeah, 240 centimeter bells. And yeah, we're gonna have a lot of bells. I know we've got the uh what's it? Teander fork thing, but I may want a trader, and I am inclined to using some form of auto load. So, uh, have a look here. Auto load. Is that just for small bells, or what? I'm not sure, but. I think, you know what, we use not that one. Use something like this. Transport 14 bells at a time, requires a couple of trips. Unless I, you know, I'll gamble with this one, so. Nuke fig, auto load bells. Uh, sure, we have that. Clean. Toolboxes, steel floor, make it something a bit new. And yeah, go with blue. Yeah, why not? Let's go with blue. So, there we go. Stain steel. So, yeah, we'll go and I think we'll release that for now, so we'll go and see if we can also load these bells, so... Actually, we can have a little look now. Yeah, there is a... Bit of a pickup issue, maybe? Anyway, I'm gonna... 
Oh, okay, I ain't wind rowing that same time, is it? Oh, no, it is. But yeah, whilst that's doing its thing, ah, dang, we could have used that, couldn't we? Actually, what heck is use this, so. Uh, bear with me a sec. And there we go, so yeah, we've got, we've got the trailer here. We've already picked up our hay bells, so. Yeah, 14 hay bells. And yeah, we've got a teddy handler here, that is. That's got the teddy fort thing, so. That's going to be setting up north. Hopefully, the worker knows where they're going. Uh, you know what? I hit. Well, I was going to oh, just undertake you. And yeah, got the worker on the wind rowing. Hopefully, it's fine now because I had to slightly correct it because it doesn't like doing it on the side. It's got to be in line with the wind ropes because otherwise. It'll stop and turn, stop and turn, so always we'll break there, not going that way. But yeah, I'm just interested to see one how many bells we can get. And two, just get this all working. So I'll get some pellets and that. And yeah, actually, when's it the best time to sell these pellets? So actually have a quick look here, so under price. And it should be near the top here. So pellets. One note further down. Preserve fuse and all that. So yeah, hay and straw pellets. Best load sell is around February, January, February, and into March. So actually, that is a good time for us to do it now. We falls in line with the harvesting season, so. Yeah, not too bad. Entire thing all lined up over here. Oops. Oh yeah, forget about that little bump there. But it's all good. I haven't got stuck and... Oh yeah, this is going to be at least one more trip afterwards. Because I don't think we'll be able to get everything aligned. And good thing about having the taste skid and that or the Oh, it says taste good. I meant the tea hander. Is yeah, so we can separate these bells that has it gone on to the same section. Because, even though, yeah, I could be a bit cheeky when making pellets and put a little bit of straw bell in whilst making our hay pellets, but ah, that's not me. I don't do those kind of things, so. And yep. Yeah. Pretty much practically done with the wind rowing. Sorry. Yeah, we need to make one more trip, which is fine. There we go. Ah, uh, was it two more bells? I think. Three bell capacity sounds about right. There we go. So let's go and get you stopped. How many bells is that? Yeah, 38. Not too bad. And you know what? I'll just go quickly get around and get the rest of these bells sorted. And there we go. So we've got everything here. Just move the lorry across the road for now. So yeah, we've got our tay hander and our skid -sk -sk steer. We've got our 40 or so bells here. So now let's go and purchase this land. So We'll purchase that. I need to remove that sign, so let's go and do that. Because, yeah, we've got all of this. And to be honest, I'm thinking something could be like a little field in that, so. But obviously, we need to see things out, so we we'll won't go to our productions. We want to go to, first of all, like our premium expansion, so... Okay, got Super Factory, like so. Preserved Fuse can go there. But yeah, this is the big one. That would be going something like that, so... 
reserve this section here. And yeah, I'm thinking section here as well, so... Actually, what? Let's go to our landscaping. Go to paint. And put some gravel down, so... So, okay, let's not go into the shop area, but... Yeah, because of the angle we're on, it's going to be a little bit difficult, but... But yeah, because I want to paint things first before... I do anything like leveling or smoothing out the terrain, so... What I think... Yeah, something like that would do just fine. Oops. Got a bit carried away there. Because, yeah, also I want to put our chicken pens down as well here somewhere. There we go. Because, yeah, like, we've had issues before where we've gone and put stuff down. And so have, like, weird grass textures and that popping up. That's because... Obviously, we haven't done our proper due diligence. In terms of getting everything done correctly, but... Yeah, there we go. Smooth it all out, like so, with paint. And I think, yeah, for a little starter... That ain't too bad, so... I think if we continue it along here and that, so... Cool, yeah, I want to have a big area. I want to make sure we can have enough space for everything. Also, you haven't thought about the palletizer yet, but we'll get down to that in a bit. So, yeah, I think that is good enough of an area. Yeah, it's a bit hard where you can't like, paint certain areas, but yeah, I've still got a huge amount of space for like, a little field in that. And yep, go sculpting. And yep. Just turn everything up. I just want to make sure everything is all smoothed. I know this is relatively flat, so... Yeah, I'm not too worried about... Yeah, so it's only like gone out like, what, a couple of quid in that, so... Ooh. Bit of a lag spike there. Go just gone and just smooth everything out. So yeah, this is going to be that field area, and I will, of course, like mess around a bit, like over here, and make sure I have like a proper entrance and that. But yeah, let's go and put these productions down. So I made a little bit of a short time lapse of just putting everything down, putting the potato stuff, the root crop stuff down, 
along with the new chicken pens. We haven't put the chickens in yet. So we'll do that probably in the next episode or so. But for now, I just want to focus on this, the Primos. So, got the bell shredder attached to the sides. And yeah, we're going to be doing hay and straw pellets. The straw pellets is going to go into the, what's it called? Pellet heat plant. Obviously we can do wood chips, but I very much doubt we'll do wood chips. If we do, when our trees grow down the road in a year or two's time, then we will. But for now, I'm not interested in wood chipping. I'm interested in pellets. So, let's go and have a look here. So... I've also spent 90 grand on a new tractor and ooh, that is <laughs> rather steep there that is. Oh yeah, I, I smoothed this all out and yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to do some terrain editing here, so ooh, this is gonna be annoying, so if I move this out of the way for now. Just move it off the road in case if anyone comes past. Yeah, sorry, it's elevated up. I should have just done it like, uh, what was it? Free, like, free mode in that. But, anyways, got to deal with it now, so. There we go. Just try to smooth this out as much as I can. Alright, so, yeah, it's a bit better. I had to sort of level it out, so, yeah, it does look a bit janky. Sort of, like, almost like raised on a pad in that, so... I should just do a bit of fine tweaking here, but... For the general parts of it... Actually, I'm happy with that, so let's level this out here. Just so that we have a clear way of entering and exiting. Like, yeah, I've generally moved it here, so once we actually get onto the land, it ain't too bad. Perhaps I could just try, like, sleeping a little bit, but... Oh yeah, that is a lot better. So, as I was saying, we've bought this, we bought the John Deere 8755. I haven't put the unrealistic engine in, I just want a small tractor in that. Hence why it's got narrows on, so this will be going here. Ugh. Okay, bear me a sec. And uh, no, that looks ugly. Oh, I may deal with that down the road, but for now we need to focus on this. I'm pretty sure there is a light switch here, so there we go, turn on shed lights and just a quick save here. Alrighty, so, yeah, got that sorted. Just have a quick save, just in case I have a game crashing out, because, yeah, as you may know with the series, I do have game crashes from time to time, so, for now we're using this. Just get it into position. If you want the pipe out, I'll just get it as close as we can. Like so. There it goes directly over that hopper there. So it comes out there, goes straight down. I think we are a good one. So let's just make it. There we go. Something like that. Unfold you. And yep, I do know this is a slow process. It takes what? So we can process it at 60,000 years per hour, and that is real life hours and not in game hours. So, yeah, may not be the most quickest of productions, because technically this is a production, but also not a production. Does it come up under the productions tab? So, in theory, you can have just multiple of these, so... But yeah, I just want this, just so we have something like the power of the PTO shaft, so... Fair enough, I could go even smaller than go of the, the Porsche Junior and that, so... Let me 
please unfold everything. So, I need to unfold the bell shredder. Okay, bell shredder is unfolded. Ah, there we go. Had the wrong part selected. So, that is on. Hop into the glossier. I want us to do straw pellets first of all, so go and grab this, so something like that. There we go. I perhaps should have gone with the other ones, but I can like grab all the yeah, grab all the bells at once, but once I keep like tip backwards it should be fine. Okay, so let's try to eliminate first person that so raise it. Get my light in. And what? There we go. That is on. The next thing we have to do is just go and grab this like so. So what's that first bell is going in? And this is a 4 to 1 ratio, so 9,000 litres should get us approximately two, yeah, 2,250 litres of pellets. So that is a full pellet and a bit, so... Actually, you know what? I can push that in. There we go. Get that aligned. And it's going in, so let's have a little look here. It's shredding, you can see the dust in that. And that is perfect, pretty much. That's going up the pellets, and it's going into these little bags. Nice. Clipping, hopefully, it doesn't cause ink crash. It shouldn't do because these aren't liftable bells. So, yeah, if we have a look here, the processing time two minutes, and that is just going to keep on going up and up and up. So, let's go and grab some more bells. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing is just processing all these bells. Probably leave some for like the next episode or so. So yeah, with these short pellets, what we'll do is we'll put it into the heating production. Now we'll produce some electricity. Oh, no. oh, grabbed it slightly wrong and bells gone everywhere. Oh, lovely. Should get rid of that. Oh, no, 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 no. It's all going wrong. It's all rushing a bit. Dang it, that's. Oh, no. Right. What? No, 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 no. Get that in. Go. Nope. No, don't fall down. Oh, no. Oh, no, what? We'll pick who's up and leave Ron. So it's got to be a bit more careful with this, but but yeah, you see the gist of how it works. So let's just leave this process a little bit. Maybe do a little short time lapse so or we'll do a little bit of a jump cut. But yeah, let this process, and then we'll come back when we have some pallets. <laughs>
pretty much almost done here with the stroll. Okay, let's make sure that's turned on. Palletizer has stopped. Fair enough. But yeah, first of all, let's quickly there we go. Let's detach that. Grab that bell. There we go. And to do that. There we go. So now that bell's going in. And yeah, those two bells will sort out in the next episode. There we go. Bell's down. And there we go. Let's have a look at how many pads we have produced. 15 pads so far, so... So far, not too bad. So let's go and grab these. So, grab you. I'll grab this at the same time. We should need to do this, so sack it. There we go. So yeah, the palletizer now can continue. I'm just putting it from now over here, so there we go, just sorting it here then. Again in the next episode, what we'll do is well, when the chickens create the field over there, we'll be putting all this through the heat plant. So actually, what is the cycles in that? So, 24,000 litres of pellets, so a month. So, that's going to take a few months to process, but you know what? I am fine with that. Not a few, a couple of months, not a few, but. So, yeah. This is just slowly churning through. Yeah, I know we can't do anything. Uh, yeah, this is processing and it does take a while, so... <laughs> uh, bear with us here, so... Actually, I think that's where I'm going to leave it today, so yeah. Next time we'll do all that, as I just said. Was this worth it? Definitely, especially using straw pellets to put into here. Oh, no, we'll use a crane. She wants to grab us and put some in. Go. But, yeah, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not scratch on yet, then please stir. But, for to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this is me for our Everwood stream. And I'll see you all very soon.